Hello families, my name is Nicole Hisa and I'm the Director of Curriculum and Assessments. I'm thrilled to take you on a tour of our student experience today. Let's get started. Okay, so we are going to start with high school right now. And what you're looking at is our learning management system. And when a student logs into the learning management system, he or she is going to see these course cards. And I just have some random demo course cards right here from different grade levels to show you. But your student might have something like geometry or English 3 or science or whatever it might be. They will have one course card for each of their classrooms that they have. So this is a really nice visual way for them to see all of the courses that are on their schedule. And the students are able to customize some of this information to make it work with their brain as well. On this dashboard, your student is also going to get some additional information. For example, they're going to get a to-do list. This is just one way to let them know some things that might be due soon or coming up. But I will also show you in a moment where the student will be able to access their modules to get a much more comprehensive view of all of their work and assignments. And again, you get a calendar of some upcoming events and work as well. So the dashboard is a great landing place for students as they log into our learning management system. Okay. So now once a student selects one of those course cards, they're going to be taken to a home page. And the home pages are customizable by our teachers. So some things will vary depending on grade level and again, the personality of the teacher. But for the most part, what I'm going to show you now are the components that you will likely see and that your student will see. You'll get some information about the teacher, how to contact the teacher, and, and a little biography about the teacher as well, which is important. But then you're going to get things like weekly expectations. We really try to keep this homepage as like a week overview. So it's very obvious for the students what they need to accomplish in the coming week. So we're gonna have here class time, the different live sessions that students need to attend, for example, just some guiding principles. And even an on your own area, a lot of what we do is even offline and there are things that your child will need to turn in that they do offline things like independent reading and even some workbook pages perhaps depending on the grade level as i mentioned this is high school and this is actually um, a high school homepage that we're going to look at we're going to look at geometry actually in just a moment um, but you'll see in this interface we're going to get a weekly overview you might get some objectives some vocabulary, and then you're going to see learn, practice, apply, assess. We call that our learning cycle. This is a way for our students to know all the different types of activities that they're expected to go through and to complete. And after they complete a learning cycle, the goal is for students to master that content with some type of assessment. So again, trying to make that mastery cycle obvious for our students. So you might get your live session times here, including the recording. So if your child ever misses a live session, it's okay. They can go back and watch the recording. So it's right there. You might get some activities for practice, some activities for higher exploration and application, perhaps an assessment, some things to do on your own, and maybe even some resources and links. In this case, like a Desmos calculator, for example. So you can see that the home page really gives quite a bit of information and guidance to the student. Okay, now the home page, though, only really is that pulse check. There's a lot here, but we really want to make sure that students ultimately click on their modules in the left-hand navigation. I'm going to show you what that looks like right now. I am now in as a student, so you see my pink bar down here alerting me to that fact. 
And since I'm in as a student, I have some things grayed out here in my high school geometry course. And that's because it's going to it's going to force me in an order here. Now teachers have the ability to change this order and make things available and unavailable. So again, this will be customized by the teacher. But just to give you an idea of what this looks like, a student might be studying coordinate geometry, for example. You can see I, as a student, I can only click here at the moment. And it says I'm going to get an introduction. So I'm learning about what I will actually be doing and accomplishing in this particular um, unit in my course. And it's just going to remind me that I'm on the first lesson. Then I'm going to get what we call a workbook. But the workbook is really the learning part here of our lesson. We have audio support for students who may need that. We have key terms. You can even hover over things to get some more information. You can see here all of the different graphics that your child will encounter. So you can see, even though we call this a workbook, it's really a lot of the lesson right here. Key concepts. We have things that can be expanded and contracted to make things a little bit easier to navigate. We have some interactive pieces for students as well. And you can see here there's even um, a question that a student needs to answer here for some formative information for the teacher. I'm just going to randomly select something there and then I'm going to hit next. So you can see once I finish that, I would have needed to submit something. I would then be permitted to go to the next activity and so forth and so on. I'm going to go back and click on modules again. And you can see here, even though it's grayed out, some of the other things that a student would be doing. We have checkpoints built in. You can see it's going to follow a very similar format, an introduction two workbooks, which are like our lessons with that interactive piece and some of that formative information in there. This time I'm getting a discussion as well so the students can interact. And as I scroll down, I'm even getting a unit exam, which is for more points in this particular case. And then I would be able to move on to the second unit. And again, that one also follows a very similar pattern and methodology. So as a student in a geometry class, this is what I will encounter on a typical day. I'm going to be able to select my course cards. I'm going to be able to get quite a bit of information on my home pages. And then I'm going to be able to interact with all of the different content and exciting educational opportunities that my teacher has for me. Well, okay, this has been a glimpse into our high school learning management system and curricular tools. I hope this was helpful. Please reach out if we can be of further assistance to you. Thank you. Bye-bye.